Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. It's time for week 12 for the summer of Jessica. And I know what you want to know. Who won last week's? Well, let's get right to... Don't say it. There. All right, who won last week's? Well, that would be this guy right here. So congratulations. Be sure to email me, preparedmind101 at gmail.com. I'll get that sent right out to you. Now, a few of you may be saying to yourself, you know what, he's kind of been slacking lately. You know what, that's not completely untrue. You've heard me complain about how busy it's been lately. But I do have a bunch of stuff, uh, really cool things that just came in. Hey, since I got you here, let me show you two things that came today. Got this thing. No, it's not a sex toy, as somebody thought it might be on Instagram. This is a pocket shot that I got from GoingGear.com. And I got, got the regular parts and I've got the wh whisker biscuit. So it's kind of like a alternative to a slingshot, something like that, that you could also shoot arrows with. I haven't tried it yet. Let's try it now. This is probably, I don't know. I'm guessing this is something I'm probably gonna need to practice with. See if my shoulder can even pull this thing. All right, you got any ideas uh, at all? What should I shoot at? Huh, okay. It's kind of an odd suggestion, but I'll give it a go. Oh wait, I was supposed to put something on the arrow, wasn't I? Hmm. Not too bad. Uh, it's gonna take a little practice, get the whole aiming thing down, but yeah, let me play with it a little bit. We'll do a review. Another thing that I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for, couldn't wait. This came today, also from GoingGear.com. And the leather mask here was done by a friend of mine. Uh, it's not somebody that's like making them for everybody, so I can't really refer you to him. But finally got the CRKT Burler Axe. So... Looking forward, I mean, it's more of a hatchet, if you want to be, I mean, or for like very, very small people, this could be an axe. But this is something that uh, I'm not really into axes, but I've been wanting to try this out. This looks like something that I could probably get behind. I will say that it did not come all that sharp, but it's good enough that I can quickly fix that with the, uh, the Ken Onion uh, blade grinder. So, a lot of stuff. What? Why am I wearing a backpack in the backyard? Because I'm a backyard survivalist. Haven't you heard? Jeez. This kind of falls into what this video is going to be about. Again, I've been busy. But i got to give these things away. So, I'm going to use this opportunity to make this a double, super-duper, awesome, crazy giveaway. So, this week... Whoever wins this week's video is not only going to get a brand new Jessica X, they're going to get a $150 backpack as well. But we got to watch the intro first. That was kind of a long preamble, wasn't it? Oh well. Intro time. So what we have here is a VanQuest Trident 20 Gen 2. And thank God for Molly, because otherwise I don't know how I would be able to make this fit the summer of Jessica. <laughs> I gotta do giveaways anyway, so I might as well just make a super giveaway. Yes, we're gonna give away the Jessica, Jessica X. No, not the sheath. Uh, and you are also going to win, one guy will also win a VanQuest Trident 20 Gen 2. Now, I have already reviewed the Trident 20 before. And if I'm not mistaken, it may very well be on the Jessica list. I have to check. 
used it for about a year uh, ended up trading it because I got so many backpacks and stuff like that to give you the quick rundown of what I think this bag is good for I think this is a really good urban bag and they do have several uh, upgrades for the Gen 2 and just to give you a quick rundown you've got the velcro uh, patch panel is actually their laser cut molly you've got a about a, an additional liter worth of internal space added to it got get a couple of these I've only got one in here right now but you've got these dividers so you can set these things up uh, this is really good for a camera bag uh, I've used this as a camera bag before going to the different shows shot show blade show that sort of thing uh, you've got uh, high visibility interior and all that stuff so uh, the dividers are a little bit taller and this section right here is about I want to say a half inch bigger it's it's just barely bigger that it can comfortably fit a 15 inch laptop so a macbook pro macbook air that sort of thing can fit in here in this section now what i've been doing with this for the last week since it's been so hot is i've actually been running this pack as a hydration pack uh, i don't know often use hydration bladders but you know I've got so much stuff I found a uh, I was going through my cabinet I found a, a Camelback Omega reservoir that I pretty much never used so I filled that up filled it full of ice took that out when I go hiking uh, uh, just about every morning I go walk through the woods about two miles just to get some some warm-up exercise and then maybe go to the gym maybe not uh, but I was like, wow, maybe I need to get back to using these things because that's pretty convenient having all that cold water on your back. So that's what I've been running this thing as, as a hydration pouch. Now it does come with a waist strap, which I take off because I honestly do not feel this pack needs it. I've said that in many, many videos. I don't think uh, you need waist straps on anything unless it's going to be a load-bearing waist strap that rides on your hips which this isn't most tactical packs are like that so those are the basic upgrades for this pack uh, I'm not going to just you know repeat everything that I said before so I'm not, like I said if you want to know more about this pack overall it's pretty much going to be the same thing just with those slight uh, changes and upgrades to it it's a good bag uh, tons of pockets tons of organization Lots of the rip stop, rip stop uh, high visibility interior. I this will work as a day pack going on a hike or something like that. This is not a woods bag. This is not something that you're going to go hike out, you know, 20 miles out in the woods and camp with. No, but this is a very, very good urban pack. Uh, oh, you know what? Nope, that's just for CCW type stuff. I was wondering if I should have put the, uh... yeah, you can. So you could either put that uh, hydration bladder here or you could put it back here, whichever, whichever works. I've been putting it right here since I haven't been using a lot of the interior stuff and it works fine. It's got the little strap right there that you, you hook it into so it holds it upright. It's an excellent bag, but here's the thing. Uh, when VanQuest asked me if I wanted to review it, I said, well, I've kind of already reviewed that bag, even though it's got kind of some minor some uh, upgrades to it. So what if I do it and we can give it away? And they're like, sure, go for it. So. Rather than doing two giveaway videos, I'm gonna work it into one, make it a super giveaway, win a Jessica X and a VanQuest Trident 20. That's a hell of a that's a hell of a prize package. At uh, street street price, you're looking over two hundred dollars worth of stuff right here. Pretty sweet. I'm such a nice guy, giving you guys this stuff. Oh, how about a little bonus? 
I got some of these for a fundraiser, which I pretty much sold out of, but I did keep a few of them back just to throw them in the occasional giveaway. Uh, Bastion, uh, is it Bastion.com? It's the same website as Magplates.com. Makes these patches. And I don't get anything out of it. They just, uh, you know, I need somebody to make these patches. They sell them. Uh, normally they're great on black, but I got a limited supply for myself of white on black. So these are the more rare uh, PM101 morale patches. And I'm going to slap one of those on there too. Now it's a prize. I mean, I understand, yeah, big free knife, free backpack, but I mean, this is, I, I tell you what, let's just take all this away. This week, you can just win one of these. I mean, I think anybody would be happy with that, right? No? Okay. Yeah, I'll put the knife in the backpack back in the pot. All right, just kind of give you a, a quick look at how big it is on my back. Keep in mind, I'm a rather small fellow. I recently found out when I went to Blade Show, <laughs> everybody's bigger than me. I'm five, I'm five foot eight, so maybe that'll give you a little bit of an idea as far as you know the size of this backpack, who it's going to be good for. If you're one of like one of those you know monster human beings like Alan Kay, it's like freaking eight and a half feet tall. Alan Kay could probably be a stunt double for the guy that plays Chewbacca in Star Wars. I mean, he's like literally like that freaking tall. But if you're like that size, this pack might be a little bit on the small side for you. But, you know, hey, prize is a prize. I'm sure you got a friend that it'll fit. But that's that. Um, I actually like using this as a uh, hydration pack. So sorry I didn't really get to any kind of Jessica X action this week, nor did I last week. Uh, it's been crazy lately. Uh, I will be out this weekend shooting videos on some new stuff. I got some things that just I have to get out of the way. I've been sitting on forever. Got to get them done. So we'll catch up here soon. About three weeks, the wife and the kids go back to school, and it's back to business as usual. So there's that. If you want to win this awesome prize package of a Jessica X and a VanQuest uh, Trident 20 Gen 2, you know the routine. All you got to do is comment in the comment section below, and I'll use the YouTube random comment picker to select a winner, and I will announce it next week. In the meantime, if you want to find out even more about this pack, uh, I highly suggest checking out VanQuest.com. Uh, especially since they were nice enough to provide this for you guys as a giveaway prize. Uh, my two favorite things that VanQuest makes uh, that I use all the time, the Ibex 30 pack, which you've seen multiple times, and the Envoy 3.0. That's full of uh, toys that I lug around with me everywhere. It, at least it goes in the back of my SUV whenever I leave the house. So I got a lot of VanQuest stuff couple things I got for review and a lot of it I bought. I'd say I bought, probably bought more of it than I've had provided because it's my you know it's that good. So there's that uh, in case you saw this these should be shipping. Talk to Mike today uh, in the next day or so which I think both of those companies are like right there so that they basically have to drive by in the morning and grab them and put them up so keep a close eye on there's not a bunch of them in the first run but the uh, second run of 200 is under underway and then once those sell out then we're gonna have the run of 500 uh, which will probably we're trying to we're trying to decide whether to go ahead and he's gonna get me a sample to make an option for the Scandivex and or the high saber or if, you know, I don't know if you know this, but Bark River will actually, if you get a Bark River and you want a different grind on it, that's something that you could do. I guess they'll do it for free. I didn't even know that. Uh, he told me that today. So you could literally have one of these and, and have it ground up to a high saber. Let me tell you something, though. And this is a Jessica Series knife, so it fits that I'm talking about it. This thing is freaking sharp. Oh my God. 
I mean, <laughs> I've been playing with this thing a lot. I've been EDCing it. Uh, I turned the C2G fab sheath into a neck sheath and then kept the yellow hawk as the cross draw. So this has been getting a lot of freaking use and it's a sharp knife. So good luck on the giveaway. I realize I rambled a lot today. I need a break. <laughs> it's that simple. I'm losing my mind. All right, guys, that's all I got for right now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.